What's going on traders? In this video, we're gonna be looking at Euro USD. As you can see on my screen, the Euro is coming into a monthly supply zone, two little monthly supply zones actually. So I plan on accumulating a short position around this area, but I'm not just gonna be placing you know, a, a sell short order. I'm gonna be looking for a couple things in the chart. In this video, I'll, I'm basically gonna be breaking down exactly what I'm looking for. And as well, we are gonna be looking at the COT data, the COT reports to see how the banks are positioned in the euro right now and it's looking like they are taking profits from all their buys down below which is all kind of all adding up so stay tuned for this video i hope this helps and you know don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this so before we look at any more charts i just wanted to point a couple things out here on the cot data here this is a collection of the bank's positions uh, over time on the euro USD and as you can see on the left here this is their long uh, exposure they're very long but you know back here they were at 242 262 266 and now they're back at like 206 so it's looking like they are you know over time uh, reducing their long their long exposure even though as you can see here they're clearly more bullish bias they're 75 percent long to 25 percent short but if you if you pay attention you know, to the numbers, you know, back here, 52,000, you know, in September, 52,000 shorts, now they're at 68,000. So it's pretty clear that they are still adding longs, of course, because they need to push price up to the supply zone, which is where they want to get rid of their longs, right? Um, but so they still have to be buying, but at the same time, they're accumulating a short position. So what I'm hoping to see in these car reports, we'll look at a chart next, but what I'm hoping to see in these car reports over the next few weeks is these longs start to get reduced and more shorts get added. You know, in the last week here, they did add some longs, but they did add some shorts as well, which makes me think that they are kind of just holding up price at, you know, a similar level. But I do expect a rally coming down from here at this monthly supply zone. And these car reports will give us just a little extra confluence and it'll really show us if they are taking profits. All right, now we're looking at the weekly time frame, And as you can see, there is a nice trend up all the way up here. We had a nice zone created right here, which is this weekly supply zone. And if you see these dotted lines, as I have written here, this is the whole monthly supply that we were looking at earlier. So on this smaller time frame, we are coming up to this month, this overall monthly supply, and there's a nice weekly supply zone within it. So, and also right here, this is a nice weekly demand area um, that is most likely going to have a hard time getting past, in my opinion. This trend line up is not the greatest trend line. This isn't really that clear of basing, but the, mem the momentum is clearly up on the weekly. And what I kind of want to see is for price to maybe, it'll probably hit this zone, base out here, probably hit a daily zone, daily demand zone, which I'm going to show you next. And hopefully push, break this weekly supply, hold this monthly area of supply, and then break back down and hopefully they'll break a weekly demand zone right here and that'll be the ultimate signal to get in short because you know looking at the daily time frame which I'll bring up you know we might as well just bring it up now if you look at the daily time frame here this is the only demand zone that I see if price does break this area on the daily come back down we'll have a nice demand area right here that will react off and let's just say it comes down and breaks this daily zone that's right here but it does not break that weekly supply zone that I was just talking about. It's a little risky because you know the the monthly is the monthly momentum is up and the daily time frame is not that strong of evidence that you know sellers are picking up. So I want to see some sort of weekly supply zone created and respected, right? As well as a weekly demand zone removed. So it's going to be tough to get, but hopefully also what will happen. This is another scenario that I could see playing out is we're we're probably gonna be up here for quite a while like I expect like months and maybe we'll see some nice basing here and a nice drop boom which what will that do it'll create a nice supply zone right here and maybe that'll be a time to get in short as well with our first targets down to this weekly demand zone because like I said we're probably gonna have a difficult time going through there but at the same time, a monthly supply is way stronger than a weekly demand zone, but I still think that we'll have a hard time getting through this weekly demand. 
So there's a couple options that I see playing out. I don't want to just look at the daily in this situation because if you look at the monthly at my top left screen right here, the the momentum clearly has shifted to the upside. Yes, we're headed into a monthly supply zone, but momentum is up right now. We need to see the exhaustion of momentum as well as looking at the call reports over the next few weeks to see, you know, that'll give us that extra confidence to see, okay, they are taking profits. They are accumulating a short position. And then what we can do, we'll look at the weekly and we'll look at the daily and, and find all their zones and track all of their zones. And we will try to find the best shorting opportunity with our ultimate target being down here. So, you know, what I want to see is all these zones removed and I'll be adding all the way down here. I'll be looking for shorts on the daily and with the weekly as well, all the way down to this monthly demand zone. And then when price does come to this monthly demand zone, hopefully we'll be closing out our short positions and we'll be looking to accumulate a long position. So I hope this all helped. Let me know if it did. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any pairs you want me to break down, just let me know as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, everyone. Cheers.